All right, so a lot of people have been asking me for the best budget build for Tarkov in 2024. So I put together a killer setup here for a total around five to $600, including the monitor, keyboard, and mouse that you see here. For the CPU, I've got the $35 Xeon E5 2686V4. Storage is handled by a $25 used Inland Gen 3 M2 NVMe SSD. For the GPU, I've gone with a 6600 XT, the most expensive part of the build at $200. The motherboard is a Machinist X99 MR9A Pro. That's coming in at $75. I've gone with the used set of RAM here for $25. It's 16 gigabytes of DDR4 rated at 3000 CL16. I've got a used 700 watt EVGA PSU back there for about 40 bucks. For the display, I've seen used AOC 24 GS2s go for about 85 to 90 bucks. The keyboard is an iGo A68. I recently unboxed it on my channel. The mouse is a Darmoshark N3 2K polling. So I've got this system loaded into a scav raid. Just ignore the power rating. It's scuffed for some reason. And I originally went into this thinking I'll make a budget beast build to hit 60 FPS minimum on maps like woods or customs or anything that's not streets. And this was hitting the 60 FPS mark on woods, but I decided to try fluid motion frames along with some other settings you can see here. I'm running in 1080p low low FSR 2.2 balanced and I'm above a 120 FPS average pretty much if you do a quick motion you can see the FPS drop a little bit here and there when the FMF can't keep up but for the most part it feels pretty close to a real 120 FPS experience it's very smooth along with the AMD image sharpening I mean the graphics look awesome even on low low um, so yeah, here it is. It's running on this system. You can see right here. And I'm pretty dumbfounded by these results. I'm, I wasn't expecting it to be this good, to be honest. So Tarkov can be an expensive game to play. The EOD version itself is something like 140 bucks. Um, I think that's gone now actually. So I don't even know how much it costs anymore. But you also need a pretty good computer to run it smoothly. And if you don't, then you're probably at a disadvantage to someone else who does have a good computer. So this is pretty encouraging to see in version 14 because this entire setup costs less than $600. And that's including the mouse, keyboard, and monitor. Keep that in mind. The PC itself was something like $400 so I think that's pretty cool and I just wanted to share what I found with the system the performance is kind of blowing my mind right now I am kind of at a loss for words because I wasn't expecting it to be this good and I feel kind of dumb with all my crazy overpowered systems that really don't that much better in terms of a user experience compared to the price difference of those systems. So yeah, I thought this was pretty interesting. I hope you did too. As always, thanks for joining me and spending some of your time here. I really appreciate the support. I've just recently added a Purology Pro membership option. So if you'd like to support the channel and receive a priority video request, which will be turned around within three days every two weeks, then go ahead and check out the membership section on my YouTube page or click the join button on this video. Whether or not you become a Purology Pro member, you are a part of the Purology family and thank you for being here. Thanks for spending some of your time here. I appreciate it. I'm sending good vibes your way. I'm going to drop off here, let the rest of the footage play and I'll see you in the next one.
Молодец, Дэйс, удачно зашли!